that <laughs> that period that you got that grade because <laughs> you like you said if you're applying to residency you turn that f to a p right so let's talk about that so at Kona Kona, i told you we have like three different major classes um and so within our foundations of medicine class we have six blocks and so our first block was foundations of science so that was like biochem and cell bio and all that basic kind of like an expanded review of what you learned in undergrad mm -hmm. science. Um, so those are our first two blocks with foundation science one and two. Pass those. Woo! Yes. We love the pass. Pass those. <laughs> then our third block was MSK, so musculoskeletal, so all the bones and muscles in your body below the neck because then after MSK, <laughs> I got an 87 on my MSK exam. Yes! I was like, <laughs> It's a different really way of are. thinking. It's not memorizing. It's, it, it's like you really have to understand. Understand what nerves is this? Like, I remember. This, this, no, this, I remember doing the exam. They would be like, "Oh, somebody got a cut on like their lateral forearm," and I'd be sitting there like, "Okay, lateral okay, cut here. <laughs> All right, what nerve is that? Okay, that nerve is this muscle. So what would be a that's the kind of stuff that I was doing Ooh. during my exam. Wait, so you get to move during your exam? I mean, within. I mean, we're on Zoom. Wait, I literally have to sit like this. No, they I, don't. They don't really care what we do. You're lying, cause I, cause we're in, we're using ExamSoft and they monitor us. So we're not allowed to mouth our questions. We're not allowed to look off the screen. If I need to like think, I have to close my eyes like this. Like there'd be times where I like look up to think. I'm like, shoot, and I hurry close my eyes. Oh no, we don't do that. But we have live proctors, so it's, it's not ExamSoft. So like. What? How do they do it? They split us up into the groups of like 15 or mm -hmm. something. Um, and then, Be careful. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they split us up into groups of 15 to 20. And then they have one of our professors just on zoom we all go into a zoom room we have a lockdown browser um and so we'll go into the lockdown browser like put in this password and everything and then we're on zoom on like a secondary device so i have an ipad and a computer so i'll take my computer or my test on the computer and then i'll have my ipad like sitting next to me so that they can monitor wait so then when you're so what program are you using to take the exams we have to download this lockdown browser thing and then that's where the exams are. That's where the exam is. And then uh, they monitor us on Zoom. Oh. Yeah. So like. Interesting. I don't know. Oh. They've never told. I mean, obviously, like, you can't have our uh, glasses. You can only have a clear drink in a clear container. Do we have to have a water bottle? Yes. We can't have a water bottle. Oh, if it's clear. Because we follow. Our school follows the standards because our exams have exam questions that our professors wrote and exam questions that the licensing board wrote. We have to follow oh. the rules of the licensing board. And the licensing board is like, no headphones. You can have the little foam earplugs if you mm -hmm. want, but no headphones. Um, you can only have a piece of, two pieces of scratch paper and a pen or pencil. Um, you can have water in a clear, or a beverage in a clear container, like wow. no notes, no recording devices, yeah. none of that stuff. So we follow whatever rules NBME sets for us. So that's why we're allowed to have water. Just no snacks, but we can have water. Wow. So, okay, what if you need to use the restroom? How does that work for you guys? Um, we have to message, like we'll just go to the chat function on Zoom and we'll just message our proctor and be like, hi, can I use the bathroom? And then as long as nobody else is using the bathroom at the same time, then like they'll just say yes and then you can go. Wait, so in your house you can use the bathroom? Yes. Wait, what? They can't, they can't stop us. How Our exams work? are four hours long. Yeah, wait, how does that work? Because like, what if you go and cheat in the bathroom? They, they trust us. Wow, that's really good. I mean, I, I, I mean, never. I'm sure people could, but like, what? They, they, we're, we're, we're adults. We are grown adults. We're That's getting true. a doctorate. Like I'm just they trust us to just follow the rules. The, the rules, you know, like you can't be a doctor and just do wow. whatever you want and not follow rules. So if you want to cheat and do, do oh, that, yeah. but they trust us as 
adults to not wow. do that. But back to neuro. So neuro exam was the first block after winter break. And I don't know what hit me. I guess neuro was a lot for me in Tufts. Mm. And I, I don't I don't remember what it was, but just coming back from winter break, I was just burnt out. Mm. And that's weird. Coming back from a break, yeah. I was burnt out. But I got burnt out after like week two of mm. neuro and it was a six week block. And after that, I just did nothing. I would literally wake up and go lay on my couch and watch TV all day. I would only go to the classes that were mandatory for yeah. attendance purposes. What? All the I classes would, are mandatory. I would only go to the mandatory ones for attendance, but I wouldn't know what was going on. So I would just like be silent because I didn't know what was happening because I never went to any other classes. Mm. And so I just, I mean, during the last week, I tried to pull it together and watch all the reviews and mm. boards and beyond. <laughs> that, and it just, oh, our pass, our passing scale for the exam was, it's always between a 67 and a 70. And depending mm. on like averages and questions that might get taken away for whatever, it kind of changes based on the exam. For this exam, pass rate was a 68. I got a 63. Mm. So I was, I was better, but you know, not quite. But I say it as a learning experience because I have to retake it over the summer. I'm gonna take it for three weeks with the course director individualized there's four of us who did not pass we'll all have individualized time with him like three hours a week for three weeks oh i love that and he's yeah. basically going to teach us to the exam mm -hmm. so that we know what is important like for our board exams and really solidify that information and i feel like failing was a blessing because i had i barely passed I wouldn't have the opportunity to yeah. remediate and so now that i'll remediate like most people easily pass the second time like above an 85 yeah the second time they I mean, you're getting a, you're the course director to tutor you basically yeah so that's what i'll be doing for the first three weeks of my summer is remediating wow. and then so when the semester ends at may my grade for the class will go in as incomplete because technically i haven't passed one block yet and then as soon as i pass my remediation in the middle of june they'll go ahead and change that to a pass wow and then i'll be done cheers to that cheers to <laughs> passing wow I think a lot of things that you said there that I really, really like that I think a lot of people, they don't realize when it comes to grace, there's a chance to remediate. And sometimes a remediation is a blessing. Do y'all hear that? She gets personalized tutoring from the course director. And like you said, if you just had passed, you still had a lot of gaps in your knowledge mm -hmm. that you wouldn't that have That I chance. didn't know, yeah. Because a lot of people are like, okay, I just passed, but do you know the information? How are you gonna do well on the boards, you know? For SGU, we actually have blocks for testing. So we have exam soft. So our exams are also like four hours long, well, three hours, because we have three blocks and every block is like an hour and 15. So you, the exam soft, they're looking at you, they're monitoring you, you're not allowed to like move. So you get, you finish one set and then you have 45 minute break. So that's when you would use the bathroom. That's a long break. Yeah, and in that break, they say, they invite, they're like, oh, so you can study if you want, you know? Um, and then you go back for your second block and you go back for your third block. So now our exams start at 11.30 a.m. and they finish at four. So it's like a whole day long event. Um, and like before, I think not as you caught on because before they, put all of like, let's see, cell bio in one block. So we're like, all right, now just focus on biochem. Mm -hmm. So people repeatedly did well in the second and third block because they knew they're like, okay, you did a test. Um, you did test, test me about this. So let me, let me, let me study. I know it's coming up. Yes. Mm -hmm. But now as you like to put everything together, mixy, mixy. And I'm just like, baby, I don't know what to study. <laughs> so, um, but I think, well, I think that's the difference for us. But I really love the idea that failing guys, like, let me tell you, it's not the end of the world and grades is to be everything. And I guess for me, being in a Caribbean school is hard because of the fact that you just have to be the best of the best because you, you know, there is a stigma, but thankfully SGU brings around 1000 of their students get into residencies. And that's the beauty of SGU. Um, and they make sure that you're a great test taker, which is why it's so, for me, I sometimes I feel so overwhelmed. For example, like my friends, my beautiful friends get to have study periods before an exam. So they have like three to four days where they're not taught new material. Unfortunately, SGU wants to teach me all about the ear within 24 hours of my exam. So like literally two nights, like 
I'll have my exam at 11.30 in the morning on Wednesday, and the night before at 4 to 6 p.m., I was taught about the auditory um, track and about the histology of the ear that I need to master for the exam. So it's just like to each its own, right? Because I'm going to finish my semester on May 12th. She's finishing May 28th, right? So it's just like because they crammed our schedule, that's why like I get to leave early. But yet when it comes to exams, I'm, I'm mentally like stressed. Drain. Drain. I feel like that would be, like, know, we have, have weekly, no study period we have at this, all. We have this thing every Friday called Weekly Case. Um, and so that's from like 10 to 12 and they'll try to relate it to everything that we've learned in the week. Oh, wow. And so this week ours was related to the kidneys. Um, and it was actually something I figured out the diagnosis within like five minutes. Ah, I'm proud of you. I love the doctor. It was because of my experience as a medical assistant. It wasn't due to any of the lectures that we had learned because they had to move this uh, weekly case because they didn't realize that next Friday was Good Friday and that we had it off. Oh. And so we were supposed to be getting it next week. Mm. And so some of the material we haven't learned yet. Oh, and wow. so I remember walking in, like they presented the case and I was like, oh, he's an undiagnosed diabetic in diabetic ketoacidosis. And that was it. Like, oh my God. And I only really noticed that thing. because I worked in internal medicine in the middle of the pandemic. And I saw a case like that one heroes, day. Heroes, man. Not all heroes were Healthcare cake. Healthcare heroes. But we wear white coats, no. We wear the white coat, no. But for like weekly case this week, <laughs> we were all stressed because we were like, wait, some of the kickoff questions, like, we just had them. We just found out the answers like at nine forty-five. It's now ten o'clock. Why are you asking us questions? Oh, <laughs> well, wow. like, what are oh, you talking wow. about? Oh wow! And so we were stressed about that. So I couldn't even imagine. In weekly case, like we don't get great. We get graded on participation. So I make sure that I at least say one thing, and mm. give my little contribution. And then I usually, you know, shut it down for the rest of the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you mentioned, participation. So from my classes is mandatory. Well, you get 20%, uh, how do I explain this? So 20% of your grade is participation, right? For SG, so it's grades and it's your exam grades for the block and then per, um, participation. So I have to go to all my lectures or small group. I can only miss, um, my friend calculated, six small groups out of the entire semester and 28 lectures out of the entire semester. Mind you, I have 10 lectures a week. And I have director learning activities, which are mini lectures, videos that we have to watch before and after class. So my past exam, I had 61 like, like lectures basically to study for that material. Well, 30 lectures and then 61 and then like the, the other stuff. Yeah. Some videos are just like five to 10 minutes long. Other videos are 20 minutes long. Some videos only have three slides. Some videos have 30 slides. So it's like a, an entire lecture. So med school's a lot. Um, I want to kind of transition into personal life now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no.